Hello everyone, I'm going to be showing you the most important settings in Naraka. When you want to change your graphic settings, there's many ways to test this. It's going to be different for each person because each person has their own PC specs. For me at least, I recommend everyone starting off with lowest and off. And then these two settings here, your anti-aliasing and your NVIDIA reflex, this is kind of on your computer. Shout out to Kishi, I learned it from him. Don't move when you first log into free training. When you go into free training, do not move. Stay here. Look at your, look at your FPS, right? I have my FPS capped, but if you want to see your FPS go higher, you can uncap it. But we're going to be averaging around 400 to 405, right? So we're going to mess around with turn assist, turning NVIDIA reflex off. Turned it off and we're st still averaging the same FPS. And we're gonna turn it up to reflex plus boost. Looks like we lost a few frames turning plus boost on. But it still looks the same. So you wanna do this with every single one of your settings. Uh, you want to find the best settings that fits for you and your PC. Um, these are my settings that I like to stream with. I have different settings that I like to clip with. But uh, like I said, it's all preference. It's up to you. It's on your PC, uh, your PC specs. Now let's move on to your audio. Audio, I recommend turning all your background music off. Uh, your SFX stuff. Yeah, this is two annoying things that I hate listening in the Raka. You hear like the wind noise. It's a distraction. It's not going to help you. It's super annoying. I'm turning those off. Uh, Bane breath. This can be also annoying. So I recommend turning it low, not exactly off. So you can actually hear the dragging in the sky when there's a Bane, when you're playing duos or trios or solos or whatever, when somebody Baned. Uh, everything else is kind of preference. Voices, you could keep them on or off. That's really up to you. Uh, these are also preference. And then if you want to play in Chinese or English or whatever, you could change your hero voice language here. Moving on to the key binds and since I would play on 3.3. If I was on 1080p resolution, but since I'm on 1440p, it goes up two or like, I wish I could put a decimal in here, but I can't, So we put it up to five. So I play on five, five on 1440p, uh, 1600 DPI. Here are my key lines. These are preference. I do not use quick counter. The only time I use quick counter is for hottie and alt. When you're in Haughty Alt, I will show you an example right now. Uh, when you're in Haughty Alt, you cannot parry in the state unless you use your quick counter. So that's the only reason why I use quick counter. I don't I don't use it all the time and if I'm just you know not playing hottie if I'm just playing the game regularly on any other character I use my left click right click all right my controller settings now I don't play controller but I did mess around with the settings and try to find settings that fit for me I come from COD and uh OG Fortnite so I stuck with what I'm used to here are my e binds. Rob basic buttons, my fault. I also recommend turning on quick counter for controller so it's easier. Uh, I wouldn't recommend using your two attacks to counter on controller. That's just me personally. Okay, here in gameplay settings. I don't I'm not too sure if this is by default. I don't, I'm not sure. 
grapple aim is on auto by default, but this is bad. Very bad. You cannot toggle your grapple. So let's change that to switch. Switch allows you to toggle. You can see through trees. You can see like bushes, the, the bushes that you can go into that turn you to invisible. Put you in like a little camouflage. You can see into those. Uh, yeah, I recommend turning on switch and change that from auto. Another thing here is grapple aim. This is set by default. Auto aim, auto aim is by default on controller and mouse and keyboard. I recommend changing it to either manual auto or auto manual kind of preference here. Do not keep it on auto auto. You want to auto manual. Only reason I say this is because let's say you don't have grapple distance or you do have grapple distance. Either or uh, they can iframe your grapple. And your grapple can get interrupted by terrain or whatever. So that's where manual comes in. So if you use manual, you grapple near him. Your grapple is not going to mess up. But if you use auto grapple where I'm looking elsewhere, but I put the auto button. And if he runs behind something and gets out of my grapple distance, my grapple goes Narnia. It goes to the sky and it messes up and you lost your opponent so that's why i like to use auto manual and not auto auto you get an extra option so now uh aim assist aim assist melee aim assist keep this on all pros everybody plays with aim assist on um another big thing here is counter composite button so if you want to parry with your left click and right click and your your keybind for quick counter you can use this like me i don't use my quick counter only for audio like i said before but if you only want to use quick counter and you don't want to accidentally parry from your left click right click you could turn this off but anyways, we're going to move on to the most important setting in this video is probably auto run. Auto run, you hold your auto running. I'm not pressing any other key now. All I did was hold shift and not any direction input and auto run tray. Right? Uh, that could be useful, but you can no longer mid dodge. What is a mid dodge? You have three different dodges in your in your game. Three main dodges in your game, my fault. You have your tap dodge. You have your mid dodge. Yeah, you see a little mid dodge. But if you have you're in your uh, fighting state, that's your mid dodge. It's a little shorter than your tap dodge. But if I was to tap dodge, I would hold a directional input. And it's longer than a mid dodge. Mid dodge. Tap dodge. Right. So mid dodge, you, it can only be done with auto run off. Um, I recommend doing that. Now we're going to move on to ceiling interaction. If you have this off. You cannot climb ceilings, but normally you can grapple and climb and this works, but with that setting off, you can't climb on the wall onto the ceiling. You're only forced to grapple the ceiling and it mantles you. So with the setting on, uh, it's called setting interaction, you can go here and now you don't need a user grapple to climb on the ceiling. Everything else down here is not needed. That's for you to mess with. If you have any questions, you're more than welcome to join my Discord. My Discord is down in the description. Other than that, I hope you 
have a wonderful day it's been your boy c7 for casper and i am out peace